Well, Thomas the Hermit here. I am a hermit, a man of prayer, and I have a YouTube channel, and I have the group page, the Holy Humble Laity, and there's also another group uh, a channel on uh, YouTube called the Humble Holy Laity. So, we're moving and we're advancing, and all from a guy who's you know, living out of his broken truck that is parked right by the, the, uh, uh, the that's the hall right there of the church. Uh, sometimes really late at night, they'll come out to throw trash. Um, they'll bring the trash through there over to the, uh, the trash bin. And uh, they kind of like to do that to disturb me. <laughs> but that's all a part of being the, the hermit, I guess. Um, well, what happened was I made a lady angry at me. You see, there's the kitchen over here. And um, I walked through the kitchen on a Sunday morning because I needed to use the bathroom in the hall. You know? And on my way back, this lady who obviously had it in for me says you need to go around and she semi blocked the door so that I couldn't go back through the kitchen and just come out you know and let them do whatever it is they're gonna do so I knew she had it in for me so I just simply walked past her and said no I'm not gonna do that and I walked past her and she goes you have been sponging off of the parish and I'm gonna call the cops on you. Well, I didn't think much about it until Monday I was, uh, let me show you here. The uh, church festival grounds are down there. And I didn't really think too much about what this lady said until two Waco cop cars pulled up and said you need to get off of this property and I said well I the priest hasn't told me to if the priest told me to I would get off the property <laughs> anyways I was down there washing clothes I was barbecuing some chicken you know I was having a nice Monday you know because you know I do a lot of work you know through Sunday you know, and then I go to Mass, but, you know, then I t try to take Monday as a break. Well, so I start collecting my stuff up, and I start thinking, well, I got to call a tow truck. Maybe I can haul the vehicles. I got two vehicles now. If you recall, I have the van. Well, so I started making arrangements to haul them off of the property, et cetera, et cetera. And then I saw some people come out of, uh, out of the office and they talked to the police a little bit. I thought, well, maybe they told them that, that this is not legitimate. So I went and talked to the officer who refused to talk to me. And then I said to the officer, you know, then the officer said to me, well, it's coming. You're going to have to move that vehicle eventually because these ladies are going to go tell the police, blah, blah, blah. So then he realized that they didn't have the authority to do what they were doing. In the meantime, I had already called a tow truck. Well, it was about time, and I almost had enough money to be able to get the other vehicle going, the van. So I, had, I went and put the part in, into the van, and then I had the tow truck go ahead and take it to the dealer. Okay? Am I worried? Well, of course I am. I've got a couple of Jezebels after me, you know? And I'm not going to back down from them. We've been backing down from evil women in this country for way too long. Men have got to stand up to evil women, okay? Now, that has nothing to do with you holy women. Holy women and good women and loving women and loving mothers and and, and, and women who contribute in all sorts of way within our society and culture, all of that is fine with me, okay? But evil done by man or woman is never fine by me, and I will continue to stand up against it, okay? 
Well, I don't think I'm sponging off of the parish. I spend a life of prayer, so I pray for the people who help me. You know, I will be needing more help as I leave this place, by the way. Uh, if you want to help me, you know, let me know. You know, I got some information uh, to do that. You also need to help me because I've got all this work going on on the internet. Okay? I've got a lot of good things going on, and, and I'm part of the resistance. Okay? I'm not a biggest channel as Church Militant or, uh, um, you know, the Fatima Center or, or people like that. You know, but I am a known face of the resistance, and I'm using that to build the resistance of prayer in the church. Others are putting out information. I'm building something you can do about it, which is we're going to show if they have stopped being holy, we're going to be holy. If they stopped living the way they're supposed to be living, we're going to live it more so. You know, Bishop Sheen said it was the laity that was going to remind the hierarchy about the true faith. Well, that's, that's you and me. That's us. Okay? Now, on Fridays, I'm going to be having what I call Rant Friday, right here on Thomas the Hermit. It will not be on the Humble Holy Laity channel. It will be on Thomas the Hermit channel. Uh, channel. And I will be, you know... Um, saying how I see things, how I put it all together, how it looks to me. Does that mean I'm right? I can't be 100% right. You know, Jesus Christ is the only one who's 100% right. You know, um, you know that's, that's clear. That's very clear to me. I'm sure that it's very clear to you. You've never met anyone who, who's 100% right? I haven't either. Okay? I'm not concerned about it. You know, I've learned a long time ago that I'm not going to be perfect, okay? I'm not talking about sin right now. We should avoid serious sin, you know? And if we fall into it, let's go to the cross. Let's not say God is love and everything's okay. Let's go to confession. Let's go to the cross. Let's make reparation, right? Okay? That's the correct theology of mercy. And I rely upon that mercy. Okay, I seem to be ranting a little bit now. Anyways, that's the story of how they tried to throw Thomas the Hermit off of the church grounds. Um, this is Thomas the Hermit. Pray for me, brothers and sisters. I can run into trouble as quick as a gnat. Pray for me that I get out of here. Pray for me that, that I get out of here safely, that I'm protected from thieves. You ever think about that? A homeless person is threatened by thieves much more than a normal person, okay? A normal, homeless, whatever. Okay, you know, pray for one another. Remember, we are building the fortress of prayer. I'm over in also the new YouTube group channel, the HHL. It's starting up slow. We already have over 100 subscribers. Add your name to it. Research HHL, or Humble Holy Laity, rather. Um, for channels on the the YouTube uh, on YouTube yeah research do a search on YouTube for the humble holy laity is what I'm trying to say okay and and it'll take you to our new uh, group page all right in the group page I'm going to be utilizing other members of the humble holy laity to do things so it's going to be more of a a community effort and I'm going to use community in the real sense because we pray together for real. All right? This idea of let's get together and we're community. No. Where two or three are gathered in my name is community. Okay? When we gather together to pray, we become community. All right? Community, community is something created out of a social Marxism that is being pushed upon the church. But that's another matter. Um, pray for me. I'm praying for you. I will talk to you later.